How do you get the founder of YouTube to subscribe to your channel? Okay, here we go. Well, it turns out to meet a man worth $700 million, all you need is a can of Coke. The reason I've got into this mess. A couple of pairs of underpants. Yeah, your boxes. Yeah. And the Miami Grand Prix. I don't really know what's going on there. But it wasn't exactly plain sailing. I'm worried that tomorrow he doesn't respond. This is the story of how I flew halfway around the world for sick to meet my boss. So I'm, I'm, I'm your boss. Everyone is always asking you to like and subscribe. Please check the subscribe button. But who would be the coolest person to subscribe to your channel? Well, surely it's one of the founders of YouTube. We're the co-founders. There were three founders of YouTube. Steve Chen, Chad Hurley, and Javed Karim, who was in the first ever YouTube video, Me at the Zoo. And that's pretty much all there is to say. I realized that of the three of them, Chad Hurley was probably the most accessible, purely because he was the most active on social media, and he is a self-proclaimed lover of stupid ideas. I've got a lot of those. They're also quite silly. So how could I get him to subscribe? What could I give the founder of YouTube? I guess it's all in the pitch. And three months ago, I sent him one on Twitter. Hi Chad, I'm Max Fosh from the UK and I'd like to make a trade. But who the hell am I? Well, I'm Max Fosh from the UK. You like stupid ideas and long walks on the beach. Unfortunately, our beaches here in the UK look like this. But I've been known for my stupid ideas. But what is this trade? Well, I'll do whatever it takes to fly wherever you are in the world to do the following two things. One, to shake your hand. And two, to get you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. But what are you getting out of this? This, a simple can of Coke. I know you're from an art background, so potentially you might enjoy the value of a signed Damien Hurst Coke can. It's upside down. The richest living artist in the world, personally signing this Coke can. If you do agree, I will at the drop of the hat, fly around the world, give you this Coke can, and tell you the amazing story. So, balls in your court. Speak soon. I'm really confused at the moment. He's just replied to my tweet three months later saying, does it have a naughty substance in it? I don't know whether he's... What? What is going on? Over the next couple of hours, Chad kept on tweeting, with his tweets getting even more cryptic. But it seemed like he agreed to the deal, and that he wanted it to take place at the Formula One in Miami. The hottest ticket in sport. There were two problems with this. The race was 24 hours away, and nobody could get a ticket. But I wasn't going to let this opportunity pass me by. I'm booking flights now. It may cost two, two, two thousand pounds. Thank you so much, Dashlane. Dashlane is a password manager that, uh, 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 no skipping, please. Dashlane stores all your passwords and personal information in one secure place. You can get 50% off Dashlane using my code, MaxFosh50, but more on them later on in the vid. And meanwhile, back at the ranch, Dashlane were helping me get to Miami. <laughs> in 12 hours. <laughs> and with flights, but no Grand Prix tickets, I needed to pack. It's Damien Hurst Coke can. It's the reason I've got into this mess. This Coke can was procured when Zach Alsop and I realized that at Damien Hurst's exhibition, the vending machine contained Coke cans signed by the man himself. Chad Hurley wanted to add to his art collection, so this can was my most prized possession, and it had to be kept safe. If I wrap this can, in my pants and stuff it in there, it won't move around. Presto. Just get in there. Do I need socks? This is boring, I'm not Casey Neistat. Right, let's go to Miami. I wasn't gonna be going alone because I thought it would be apt to invite Zach along for the ride. Hello. Vlogging, <laughs> sorry I'm late. No one wanted to accept me bloody ride this morning. Is that because your Uber rating's terrible? My Uber photo's of you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't heard from Chad, but all I knew was that he was going to be at the Grand Prix. So I had a nine-hour flight and shoddy plane Wi-Fi to source tickets. But in the back of my mind, I could hear the doubters. It's pretty much impossible to get into the paddock. But the Fosh Pit is strong. It stretches across the globe, and in Miami, there was a member who was about to save the day. Alex. On that flight, I was just sending out DM to literally anyone and everyone I can think of. A woman called Alex, who works for Alpine F1, their social media got back to me and was basically just like, 
yeah, do you think you'd get here by the end of qualifying? She was like, yeah, you can be a guest of Alpine, make some content for us if you like. <laughs> I've just gone from coming off my flight to being a guest of one of the Formula One teams. I've heard nothing from Chad, he still hasn't replied to my DM. And yeah, <laughs> just lucked out it. I was met at the gates of the track by members of Alpine. Max, yes. And unfortunately, I had to leave Zach behind. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. But I was a guest of a Formula One team. How are you doing today? All oh, good. This is crazy. And within 38 minutes, I had gone from being sat on a plane to being in the pits. I could scarcely believe my luck and in that moment all thoughts of finding Chad had gone from my mind as I was living the dream. I also found myself being given a microphone and told to interview two times world champion Fernando Alonso and having never interviewed a racing driver before I just said things that I'd heard on the telly. But you had uh, qualifying P11, could have been faster, there's some pace there for tomorrow. Yeah definitely the car was fast. But I had travelled across the globe to find Chad and as qualifying came to an end I headed back into Miami to not only hope and pray that he would respond but also to see if the coke can had survived the journey. Wait, they're your boxes? Yeah. I was trying to work out what that was. It's not wet, so that's a good sign. Yep. Ding, ding, ding. You good? Very good. Well, it's, it's even funnier that that's just been wrapped in your boxes. He'll only see this after the video goes out. A quick shower and a spruce up before a night out in the town was in order, but I was starting to get a little nervous. I haven't heard that much from Chad. I'm worried that tomorrow he doesn't respond. That's the only bit that's causing me a little bit of anxiety is that I don't know if we're going to meet. To drown our nerves, Zach and I hit the espresso martinis, but we really didn't need to worry, as bright and early the next morning, we got what we were after. Chaz replied. Chaz replied. Zach, Chaz replied. One o'clock. One o'clock is when we do the deal. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> I didn't fly to Miami for nothing. I'm meeting him in 17 minutes at his hotel. I have no idea what the guy's like. I'm sure he's lovely, but it's still quite nerve-wracking. Yeah. yeah. What if he doesn't have, like, YouTube on his phone? Like, that's a distinct possibility. Yeah. I mean, you'd hope not. The guy started it, right? He's also a CEO for a few years after he sold it. 24 hours ago, I was in London. I'm now in Miami about to meet the founder of YouTube. What? Dressed for the occasion and on the way to his hotel, this was a silly situation to be in, but that's what we do here on the channel. Everything is silly to the max, so come on, join the Fosh Pit. Subscribe. I, I don't say the word gaff, do I? <laughs> As my heart is absolutely pounding and racing, I need to get out to Miami within 24 hours notice. Is that wasn't cheap, no. So I'd like to thank Dashlane for helping sponsoring this video. Dashlane are important, right? And I'll tell you why. Dashlane is something called a password manager. I know all about somebody knowing my passwords and it's not nice. So the password to your Instagram account is Having a YouTube channel, it's very important that I keep my passwords safe, which is why I use Dashlane. Dashlane stores all my passwords, my payment information, and personal information in one very secure place. It's like Fort Knox in there, but virtual. Also, it makes sure that you have a different password for a different website. That's how they get you, these pesky hackers, because you use the same password and one database gets hacked and bingo, they've got the passwords for everything. I bloomin' love Dashlane because they help me stay safe and they let me fly out to Miami to meet Chad Hurley. Speaking of which, I think we've got to his hotel. <sighs> this is sick. Right, I'll try and be a bit low-key on the entrance. Here he is, the man. <laughs> You're the man, the richest man the in richest the world. The richest man. I, yeah, yes. <laughs> I can't believe you've seen that. Have you I seen that? Yeah. yeah, I'm richer than, than your buddy Elon. I like that. So what do you have here? So, here it is. Only if you look on the bottom. So we got two. Hand side, but in Sharpie as well, by Damien Hurst. So, this is my offer. I would like you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do you have a YouTube account? I do. Good. <laughs> YouTube.com slash...
No, I cannot do that to the founder of YouTube. YouTube.com slash Chad. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, you did found it. <laughs> You're like, yeah, what should it, the name of my channel it be? It was available. It was available. <laughs> Is it one can or two? Who, what are we doing? You can have both. You can have both. I'm generous. Very compelling offer. But before Chad decided whether he was going to accept my offer, I had some questions about YouTube. Why the word subscribe? Why was it subscribe compared to like follow or join? Yeah, I mean the whole the whole word YouTube was kind of meant personal television. And the tagline was broadcast yourself. So it was like this ability for you to run your own TV station or have your own channel. In that model with cable and everything, you kind of subscribe to sure. what you're watching. Was it initially a, a dating like place for people to put dating? That, that's what people say, but it was just one of the random ideas we were working on. We were looking for a hook of why people would use video at the time. It wasn't that common. You'd have to have a digital digital camera. People don't really have digital cameras in their phones yet. So we're like, why, why would people use a video product? So it's like, was it auctions? Could it be video profiles? We chatted for about 45 minutes and Chad was an utter gent. It's made me want to meet the other founders of YouTube. Maybe I could meet up with Javid Karim and recreate me at the zoo. Let's make that happen. But for now, Chad had to decide whether he was going to accept my offer. You of course. Do you have a deal? <laughs> this is why I flew all the way to Miami. <laughs> Coke secured. Are we opening this? <laughs> no. No, okay. <laughs> no. I don't know what you okay, here. Here we go. I've got it. Okay. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Hit the button. The big moment. Uh, uh, Tana Gray. So, 867,001. <laughs> what a moment! Oh! So I'm, I'm, I'm your boss. So yeah. okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're welcome. <laughs>